Well, good evening. It's Friday. It's the 1st of February and we finally managed to do a boat tour. We've done a bit of a film of Chuggabug and uh, we're going to show you through the boat. Uh, it's been a busy six weeks. We've been on board six weeks today. So it's been a very, very busy six weeks. We haven't stopped every weekend. I haven't. Yeah, it's been very busy. Um, but we came back. Sandy's had the day off today, so she spruced up the boat. So we're going to do a boat tour. And we're going to start at the pointy end. At the pointy end? Sandy's had a day off work. Sandy's had a day off work. Yes. I've had a day off from doing jobs. No, she hasn't stopped to be fair. She's had a cleaning, washing, hard life, sleeping in, having a lie in, walking the dogs. Tea at the marina. Oh, and we've just had a lovely tea at the marina. Thanks, Anne. Yeah, thanks, Anne. Well done. Oh, braised beef. Fantastic. And we're having a breakfast tomorrow because I've got black pudding in and new sausages. Anyway, we're going off on a tangent a bit. So, boat tour. Let's start at the pointy end. So here we are at the bow of Chuggabug, obviously looking towards the well deck and the cratch cover. And obviously you can see our lovely stove, step and our nest of tables that came from our old home. Uh, the step is all made out of solid oak and indeed has a storage space inside where we keep tools, little bits and pieces and of course the doggies leads. The step is actually secured with hooks either side because you can move the step away as that's where our water pump is. On the nest of tables you can see a couple of ornaments that we've got there, a nice globe to keep track of Harry's travels when he's on board his cruise ship. Now our two-seater sofa came from our old house and you can see that Chippendale both like it very much. Very comfortable and it fits in lovely in the space that we had provided. We were quite lucky with that one. And there, our television unit. We have a 32-inch smart television uh, on board and we, do, uh, we have brought quite a few ornaments from our old home. Graham was going to fit a radio um, on a piece of wood in halfway covering that shelf. But we thought, don't really want that. So now we have the television wired up to speakers that go throughout the boat. And we can turn the speakers off in the bedroom. The television is on a stand and is fully adjustable. So if we're sitting at the dinette, we can watch the television as well. Now my glamorous assistant is showing our wine cellar. It's a shallow wine cellar that can hold five bottles of wine, keeps it nice and cool as it's below the water level, which is great. And you can also see our ambient lighting under the gunnels, which is a nice feature. Makes it nice and cosy when we haven't got the main LEDs on. Now the dinette area it also doubles up as a bed when we have guests on board and has loads of storage underneath, including two large drawers underneath. And here you can see the frame that simply just pulls out and pushes back and the covers pull down accordingly. Underneath the other side of the dinette, you just remove the covers and there's a simple lift-off hatch that has, gives us loads and loads of storage underneath, which is handy. Here you can see one of two radiators we have in the saloon area and there is our dinette table, all stored safely. Now the dinette table has been custom made by Graham and obviously had to be at the right height so he had to measure us sitting at the dinette so as to ensure that we could eat our meals quite comfortably and it's great. Now moving from the saloon area and into the galley which obviously Sandy had a big part in designing with Graham. Works tremendously. In fact, we've got more room in this galley than we did in our old home. Sandy's famous five-burner hob. 
and obviously you can see our kettle with a pop-up power uh, supply there it does have space for two usb chargers as well which is very very handy good uh, deep sink for washing up etc and there you can see the oven and grill microwave to the side there with two shelves above fantastic workmanship in the galley it is very nice we're very very pleased with it love the finish of the oak doors and each door has been handmade by graham nice door covering our washer dryer works fantastically saves going to the laundrette all the time and obviously when we do plan on continuous cruising we don't have to worry about finding a laundrette on our travels the galley also supports a very small radiator which is ample for the space that we need in conjunction with the two radiators we have in the saloon area and behind another door we have our 12 volt 6040 fridge freezer which trust me is huge in comparison to the one we had on our land boat and just in front of our fridge freezer is our veg and fruit cellar it's a lot deeper this one where you can get a lot more in which is great because it keeps it nice and cool and obviously it frees up some storage area that we do need we went for this design as it gives a nice airy feel a nice open space feel and you don't feel closed in within the boat at all and the beauty of it is is if you're entertaining and you do have guests around uh, we can cook and still talk to our guests and plus in the summer open the center hatch open the bow doors and you're bringing the outside in to the boat it gives a nice feeling of space on board Chuggabug. Right, going from the galley to our bathroom, or the heads on the boat. Obviously, it's the toilet to the rest of us. We have a porcelain Thetford toilet, flushing toilet, and of course we have ambient undergunnel lighting throughout the boat. The Thetford toilet does actually swivel, the sitting position can move, so that can be adjusted if needed. And it also has a shave socket by the side of the vanity basin. The bathroom also supports a very large mirror, basically covers one half of the bathroom, which gives a nice airy feel, makes the bathroom feel very light and airy, and of course it does reflect the light. We do have um, a vent in the centre of the roof, which you turn on by the side of the shower. Heated towel rail is a great addition. That space with the towels on does actually pull out if you need to get to the back of the shower for any maintenance. And here are the switches. The right hand switch does the earlier mentioned roof vent helps take the vapor out and the switch to the left is the whale pump because of course the shower tray is below the water line so we need a whale pump to pump the water out of the boat right going from the bathroom to the bedroom as you can see we go for an across way bed not everybody's choice on a boat but definitely the right choice for sandy and i as neither of us want to be up against the wall when we're in bed feeling very closed in you can see the speakers here obviously the television and music is piped through the boat and we have two small radiators which is more than enough to keep the bedroom nice and warm under the bed both sides very large drawers there's one sandy side as well and both sides of the bed we have two large drawers and our own wardrobe so we are very pleased with our design right emptying the loo emptying the loo is done on my side of the bed which is very nice but as you can see we have a stable door which makes the job a lot easier just open the door 
to the toilet cassette and quite simply pull the cassette out and go and empty it. And here you can see Sandy in her designer gloves. Thank you, Steve and Linda, demonstrating said cassette. Here are the steps to the blunt end of our boat, which I shall uh, show you shortly. And obviously you can see the doors to the stern also there. Sandy's side of the bed, you can see a double plug socket with USB ports. And my side of the bed, I have a little cubby hole, a little nook um, where I can also charge my phone up because inside my wardrobe I do have a double plug socket with USB ports also. Now that little black box you can see with the two red lights on is the timing control for the Webasto central heating and just here that white box is the thermostat which we can control obviously from the comfort of our own beds. Now back to the steps you can see every step is storage. It each has a lid where we can store little bits and pieces for our crews and obviously you have seen our electric cupboard. Um, all the little gadgets and gizmos are in there. Now to the stern of the boat. We just unlock the doors, push the doors open but obviously time of filming it's very dark. But these two little switches down here, one controls the bedroom lights and the other controls the stern lights. We've got LEDs underneath the stern rails. Um, the ones at the back face across the stern to light up all the stern. And the ones at the side face down so we can see where the wet side is. Which is brilliant for us in the spring and summer. We can sit outside and enjoy our wine on the comfort of our boat. So the bed easily constructed, the base plate just pulls out, you just fold over the bottom end of the mattress and within 15 seconds, even on your own, you can have the bed made. The top end of the bed also has quite a lot of storage underneath, so ideal. So there you go, uh, you've had a bit of a look round Chuggabug, um, around all of it really. The pointed end to the blunt end, so you've seen it. And I will do a vlog very very soon on the outside and what we've got around the outside on the roof and the engine etc. Bits and bits. So uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. It was good to do, and it's a post that uh, we've been a vlog rather that been what are we doing, Chip? That we've been looking forward to doing. So uh, hope you enjoyed Chugabug as much as we do. Catch you next time. Bye. Bye.